Well, we've got Ken Elm Tonkin, uh, who has asked, uh, he says, other factors in small businesses not wanting to transition from owner-managed to employee-managed, a dilution, control, lifestyle, not realising they have incomplete skills and hubris. Uh, Peter, which of these factors is most prevalent in your experience? And thank you very much for your question, Ken Elm. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks for the question. The, the, okay, one of the biggest problems uh, for growing a business from micro to small is being able to let go. And the reason for that is exactly as you've said, because they don't want to dilute the, the decision making. But the fact is that, um, that that's part of the letting go. If you don't let go, then you're just going to reach a point uh, where you can't be everywhere at the same time uh, and you can burn out. So it's necessary um, to, you know, some people say, oh, if I have to teach them, then I'm not going to be able to earn the money that I was earning. Uh, and I say to them, well, look, that, that's not what you're looking at doing. What you do is you get someone and you get them to do what you what doesn't earn you money you get them to do some paperwork you get them to do some um background work you get them to do other things that you have to do but it doesn't earn you money and if they do it you can then go out and earn money and they get more and more of that work as they develop it and they get it more they can then go to a higher position and you get someone else in there for example it depends on the on the sort of business that you're talking about um but if you get someone in there, you first have to work out what it is that you want them to do, what it is you don't want them to do. Um, there's a, a, a printer I worked with um, who, and the problem with them uh, was that they um, said, well, we, we employed printers who were better than us, but we had to sack them all the time because they didn't do the right job. And so what I in incorporated into their business was something called HACCP, which is uh, hazard analysis, critical control point. Originally, it was for food, but it's just generally now for, for production. And what they do is they say, okay, there's now five stages to the printing. First, do this and show it to me. Then do this and show it to me. Then, So as they go through it, if there's any issue, it gets resolved earlier on. And then the final thing is, and it's only taking you five minutes at a time to check it and, and make any difference. Well, the um, learning could go a, in two directions as, as well, of course. I mean, God forbid you should have an employee who can teach you something. I mean, isn't that a, a wonderful thing too if you've got, if you've got those skills?